everyone, it's Morphin Mania time. I'm Captain Logan. And I'm DJ. And it's time for a three-part bonanza. And we're shooting real late at night. Uh, but we decided to go ahead and knock this one out as well with the bat shooting that we have been doing this evening. Uh, we were not even looking ahead. We're like, oh, crap, we got three more episodes. What are we going to do? Oh, we're going to do them. Yeah, we, should, we should really look ahead before we uh, start recording. Yeah, we should. We just start committing to things, and then suddenly <laughs> it's five in the morning. We don't know what we're doing. No, I'm kidding. It's not an omnibus. It's 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 a lot <laughs> earlier than that. Uh, it's time for Power Rangers Zeo. There's no business like snow business. Just before we started, DJ was like, "What's this one called? Like Snow School?" <laughs> yeah. It's it's a it's it's the epic three part Power Rangers episode Snow School. <laughs> That's not even a thing. I don't know why that came into my brain. <laughs> but I'm gonna forget the one that's not called Snow School. <laughs> that's what we should even without watching it. That's what we should call it. Uh, for those of you that haven't been watching this regularly, I don't know why you tuned into this one <laughs> as opposed to any other one, but uh, DJ and I have been um, slowly finding uh, Friends-type titles to name episodes, and I think this one should be called <laughs> the, the One That's Not Snow School. <laughs> If you are watching live, thanks for sticking around with us. Uh, or if you just got in for this one, what are you doing at midnight? <laughs> just jumping on, looking for more from it. Well, we're here. We're here. Uh, so I'm sure you'll have a great time with us watching the one that's not snow school. Uh, if you're watching live, make sure and click the link in the description. Wow, this went off the rails before we had rails. <laughs> click on the link in the description that takes you to the rabbit room. That will allow you to watch exactly what we're watching as we're watching it, so you don't have to sync up and uh, risk getting way out of sync with us. If you're watching after the fact, you will have to take that risk. Get out your Netflix, your DVDs, however you want to watch it, get the timestamp zero. Get ready to press play as soon as I said now, and make sure you're watching episode 15 of Power Rangers Zeo, and uh, we're going to get right into it. Here we go. Ready? Please press play right now. All right. Let's focus. Let's focus. Got to concentrate. That <laughs> <laughs> was delayed. <laughs> I was reading the comment. I wasn't even thinking. <laughs> we got concentrate. I'm yeah, doing Thomas. It. I'm doing it unconsciously of, at this point. Yeah, Thomas. There aren't a whole lot of people watching with us right now, but that's understandable, right? <laughs> as late as it is, like, oh my god, they're gonna watch three more of these <laughs> in one show. I got better things to do. I could get some sleep. I could cut my lawn at midnight. Yeah. So do we is the problem, but we uh, we do this for you guys. We we commit to it for better or worse. We do it for at the expense the, of my health. We do it for the for the small fraction of you guys that actually wanted this. Uh, but I hope people are having a good time with this. We we uh we are not, well you know it goes with the episode title, so that's good. Oxygen. <laughs> What is that snowboard? All right. And once again, we established the very important information that the Power Rangers are athletic, although I don't know if those are Power Rangers. No, I think that's just people. Oh, you remember this? We've got a we've got a love triangle. We'll have to see if anybody has love triangle face. Interesting. Tommy is gonna uh, get interested in this chick. But then he's but then uh, uh, there's gonna be Kat also. And he's gonna be on the rebound because of the Dear John letter. <laughs> Interesting. Have you ever been uh, skiing or snowboarding? Um, I have not. He is has way too wide of a grip on that bench press. Have you done that? That no, sounds no. like a thing you would do. I have never been uh, snowboarding. Have you ever been skiing though? Mm -mm. Oh wow! I'm surprised by that. Yeah. Have you done any extreme sports type stuff at all? Hmm. You ever been on a jet ski or? <laughs> Not until I met my wife. They do all that kind of stuff. Oh, and neat. Cool. Yeah, when we went on vacation as a kid, it was just to like warm places because we lived in Pennsylvania. So it's like, yeah, we, we want to go to warm places. Oh, no. Adam's reading it to him. <laughs> this is going to be embarrassing. He's going to learn about this in front of the rest of them. I forgot about that. <laughs> this is all, as soon as she writes that, yeah. I'd be like, wait, spot me. No, hand me that letter. 
I realize we're all Power Rangers, but this is a moment I don't want to share with the rest of you while I'm bench pressing. <laughs> oh, no. She's met someone else. He's going to drop the weights on his face. Catch like, what? And then internally, she's like, yes. I know, seriously. Cinematographic. So is Cat Lana or Chloe, Cat? Um, you be the judge. Did they think that they were actually still together? She's been gone for like a year. Yeah, months. I think I think even as superficial as the character uh, progression development can be in Smallville, those characters are still better drawn than these characters. So I yeah. can't I can't really point. say which of those girls she's more like. I guess for Tommy, you'd think she'd be more the Chloe. Where like she'd be really interested in him, but he's he's got Kimberly and he's not into her. But didn't we get a sense earlier in the season that they would probably get together? Well, actually, I like how they've held off so long and they didn't just rush into it because there the was like one episode though where it was like, oh wow, look, it looks like they're gonna get together, but I well, can't remember what happened. In it. We had the episode where they had to look after a baby and pretend to be married, but they but Tommy was very resistant towards it. I forgot about that. Okay, no, that's good. That's that's mature enough. And I didn't, at the time, realize that they were supposed to still be together. That makes more sense now. I thought he was just being goofy because I'm a high school guy and I don't like girls. I don't either. know what to do with girls. <laughs> the opposite sucks is like Martians. Well, that's actually interesting. If he's like, that's he's he's trying he's to be worried, faithful. Yeah, he's worried about uh, no one seeing him with around other girls because he's supposed to be. Ah, oh, look, sad Tommy. <laughs> walking on the beach with his karate pants. I don't need this song, though. <laughs> oh, no, there's a song? Yikes. At least it's not on the nose. <laughs> <laughs> he said facetiously. <laughs> oh, we get a flashback. Hey, we get the Count of Flashback episode, guys. <laughs> Yo, that's true. We haven't done one of those in a while. Counting is wonderful. <laughs> Counting is wonderful. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm walking along the beach while I'm missing you. And I'm thinking about memories that all the audience is watching right now. And remember those three times in the series that we kissed? <laughs> he showed all three of them. <laughs> and now I'm getting interrupted by my future rebound girlfriend. You're right. That song is really on the nose. It literally started with, you are gone. <laughs> Jeffrey <laughs> says, Red is the loneliest Zeo Ranger. You ever do. Red is the loneliest Ranger. Zeo Ranger 5 is the loneliest Ranger. See you, Ranger 5. Sad. <laughs> Lucas says, let it all out, Tommy. <laughs> Cinemographic, so Gold Ranger isn't in this. No, you guys gotta be patient for Gold Ranger. We gotta do really important character. Wait a minute! Wait, wait a minute! She's <laughs> wearing a scar shirt immediately. She's not even giving him a day. <laughs> she can't even wait. She's wearing a Did you be less subtle? <laughs> <laughs> did, they, did they know what they're doing here? So, where's this guy that just got his, his letter from his girlfriend who doesn't want to be with him anymore? And I like him, and I know that he's the Power Ranger with the star. So I'm going to wear a red shirt with a star on it. A red star on it. <laughs> and maybe he'll like me. Oh, I'm losing it over that. I did not remember that. Wow! That's my favorite. Um, I If I can ever get my wife to come with me to a Power Ranger convention, which, like, <laughs> hell will have frozen over, I'm going to get that sweater made and get her sweater. married. It's this amazing. One, that's it. This is the one with the red star sweater. <laughs> David says she might as well have Tommy across her butt. Like, seriously... We got we got to break up the emotional stuff. Is with Tommy wearing like a long, action. like a long nightcap, like Scrooge or something? 
Did you see How that? Mondo not watching all of this and come up with a monster based on it yet? That's what I want to know. What are you talking about? <laughs> Tommy's cap. His hat is like a night cap, night cap, like what you see Scrooge wearing. That's weird. Or Santa Claus. I think he's wearing that so that a stunt double can do all this. Um, <laughs> Jeffrey says, so is this punch drunk Zeo Ranger love? Lucas wants to know if there's anything Tommy can't do. Yes, there is. Say it with me, everybody. Football! Football. And remember things. <laughs> Those are his two flaws. And he has a really bad... Right. Mm -hmm. Really deep-seated character flaws that were really well established based on his background and experiences. You know, he's taking this breakup hard. <laughs> Good job. That was great. Oh, meanwhile, there's... There, did you guys remember this was like a superhero show with villains? Yeah, we're taking our time with this three-parter. Oh, I forgot. We got to watch two more of these. <laughs> I hope there's lots of snowboarding. <laughs> what are we are we trying to establish like toxic waste it's like, that, that shot for a minute it was like look how we're ruining the earth and i was like i didn't know that's what this episode was about Time that to is, my first victim of love that is not the voice choice i would have gone with a monster that looks like that yeah what in the world you know who it looks like? It looks like silver horns. <laughs> silver horns. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, at least it is supposed to be a RoboCupid. We didn't make that up. Like, this is all their footage. So if you think this is dumb, that is not our fault. Oh, she's trying to assault him. That's true. <laughs> uh huh. Um, I, I, I think she's trying to force herself on him against her will. This is this is robo sexual harassment at best. <laughs> it's kind of hard to look at. I'm like looking over here. <laughs> Why'd you actually look away during a Power Ranger episode with something that wasn't like gross food? It's amazing. Hey, you looked away during the Pudgy Pig episode. Yeah, I know. I said I had the caveat of the food, okay? There's a caveat. The cogveat? The cogveat. <laughs> Jeffrey says, this got dark quickly. Hey, you're looking at the same thing I'm looking at, dude. It does look like a redress of silver horns. With, like, a touch of... Uh, of of what's-his-face. Um, I can't think of things that aren't about Power Rangers right now. Black Manta. Like, a touch oh, yeah. of Black Manta. Yeah, just, like, the basic shape looks like silver horns. Where he's like wider than he is. He doesn't have a head. Imagine if Black Manta like put people under love spells. Is he going to make them fall in love with each other? Oh no, they fall in love with the bike. Oh, well that's dumb. Does it make them all fall in love with machinery though? Because that's kind of fun. Yeah, that is kind of cool. So I guess Mondo... I, I missed the exposition of that scene. Did Mondo get this idea from the Dear John letter, or did he, like, uh, unrelated to that, come up with a love potion monster? I don't know. I, 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 I think he was watching them through his little porthole thing. <laughs> yeah, they're, they're all in love with machines. Okay, this is silly and kind of fun. <laughs> Okay. Yeah, that's what, what you do when you're in the <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> that's, that's not weird if he's been into video games. <laughs> if Rocky brought a pachinko machine flowers, no big deal. We know he likes pachinko. I mean, we might be a little bit worried about it because of that one time that he got like... Turned into a flower? Where he got obsessed <laughs> with it like he, if he was on drugs or something. But other than that, Jeffrey says Black Manta's love helmet number nine. Thomas, how do you make out with a bike? I mean, you gotta be creative, you know, when you have alternative lifestyles like that. 
don't want to judge a a a by his lifestyles. Okay. Napaza? That can't be a real place. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, forget what I said a couple episodes ago. I guess we will resort to dumb costumes with cars. <laughs> Hey DJ, you know you know what it would be if we had a uh, flashback episode where it was all cog scenes? You know what that would be? That'd be a cog posit. What? what? Yeah. The cog posit? Yeah, because we co we cog posited scenes from other episodes and then we gotcha, put them all together. Gotcha. Yep. And we just have to make it congruent. <laughs> congruent. <laughs> <clears throat> We're just eventually going to be doing this unconsciously. <laughs> I think it's already starting to happen. <laughs> yeah, it it, it uh, it'll be part of our subconscious. <laughs> <laughs> Lucas wants to know what uh, machine I would fall in love with. Um. Oh, here's another song. Oh, remember this song? Here comes the power again. Man, we don't have room for more lyrics. That's got to be actually scary to snowboard in those cog masks. I would think so. Yeah. Hey, it's the first. Uh, it's the first scene in Fantastic Four. It is. I would think those suits would be pretty conscriptive. <laughs> I can't even conscriptive. conscriptive. I, can't, I can't even understand what you're trying to say. <laughs> Constrict, constrictive, conscriptive. That's hard to say. Constrictive. Constrictive is what I'm trying to say. Right. I got gotcha. you. I was like, constrictive. David says these puns are cog damn silly. They are. <laughs> hey, wait a minute. You're that oh. famous snowboarder. Oh, man. Billy's trying to get him. Billy's a great wingman. He really is. Good thing he came back from space. <laughs> he picked a really good time to come back from space. Billy's like, I, I haven't seen a woman who hasn't had a brain on the outside of her head in like <laughs> a year. So. He, don't, says, don't he, doesn't even, he doesn't even find women attractive anymore that don't have brains on the outside. <laughs> So sorry, it just—it's changed my whole perspective. <laughs> you know, that's kind of—it's totally accidental, but it's kind of awesome that the woman he would fall in love with is the brain is on the outside because that's the first thing he would be attracted to. That literally, yeah, it'd be really nice if we thought that they did that on purpose. <laughs> no, totally, they not. did not. So like when he gets married, the 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 uh, he's gonna marry a girl with a veil that covers the brain. <laughs> he he lifts it up and just kisses the brain. <laughs> kisses the brain. <laughs> oh, I'm glad he came back so early. <laughs> Here comes the power again. We didn't write any more lyrics for this song. Is is this is it? This is the power. It's come again, and this is it. Yeah, the power of skis. Man, they're like going through rocks and stuff. This is ambitious. Yeah, Catherine's like she was a she was a diver. Now she's a, a excellent skier. Yeah, what are we talking about? What is Tommy not good at? What is Cat not good at? Cat does freaking everything. These cogs are pretty good at snowboarding. I want to think that they were built just to do this. They were programmed <laughs> to snowboard. <laughs> He's like, all right, well, we need the, the snowboard cogs. Okay, I have made, I, I have decided something. This song is <laughs> on a two measure loop. <laughs> Here comes the power again. -da 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 -da. Here comes the power again. It's like, it's like NES games where they weren't even trying. Um, what that is the only Oh yeah. Here comes the power again! What is this? This is a long no wonder this is a three-parter. 
Yeah. They took five minutes of material and stressed to do an entire episode with no Power Ranger, nothing. Yeah, we haven't even seen a Power Ranger yet. And what does this have to do with him getting over Kimberly? Is he just going to be infatuated with this snowboarding chick? Do we have to... We're not going to have to hear more of that music again, are we? <laughs> Here it comes again. Okay, wait for it. Here comes the power again! Oh, no, it's us. Oh, it's commercial break. Power is We're saved by commercial break. They destroy. <laughs> the power rate destroy. Oh, where'd your winter coat go? Oh, this is cool. We don't often... See, I don't know if we've ever seen a Power Ranger fight in the snow. I don't think so either. Because the Christmas nice episode had no Power Rangers in it. Uh, for a minute... I thought we were going back to fight or one of the other early Wild Wasserman songs, but now it's just generic. Yeah, it's a shame that we don't. No, have to back to no, that. it is. It's uh, it's not fight. It's uh, it's it's White Ranger Dino Power. It's 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 White Ranger Power. Yeah. Weird. <laughs> There's no White Ranger this season. The intern must have just played the wrong music. Yeah, and then uh, instead of the lyrics, we we get a uh, we get a guitar part. That's weird because we haven't heard this song in forever. No, oh, since season two. Yeah, season it's just three. the instrumental version of that song. At least they knew to enough to make it instrumental and not just play. You guys are sick of us talking about the music in the show. There's nothing going on right now. Okay, we're fighting cogs in the snow. That's what we're doing. Wow, Tommy I and Billy are just snowboarding. To be fair, we're doing some cool stunts and stuff. There's just not a whole lot to comment on. Yeah, I mean it's it's no basketball, so <laughs> what? Just, just extreme snowboarding. Was that some kind of weird diss at the fact that I watched <laughs> basketball? Is that what that was? Because it's not a good one. You know why? I don't do a show about it. No, I'm just saying you're not interested in snowboarding like you're a Broadcast and talk about it. Well, yeah, I don't know enough about it to talk about what they're doing. Did she just fall off a cliff? God, I'm done with DJ. I don't know <laughs> what his deal is. <laughs> so you like basketball. <laughs> Captain Logan watches a sport. <laughs> I just love messing with him about that. And I don't understand why. It's just fun. Hey, it's over. <laughs> Jeffrey says I'm dribbling my way out of this one. <laughs> that guy that. looked pissed. Did you see that? <laughs> Did someone walk in his shot or something? Yeah, he's like, God, I'm 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 trying to record this really boring news footage like 14 times. They, they cut before he went full Christian Bale. Oh, good for you. <laughs> <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> Try to shoot the scene. Fire this guy. Oh, my God. That's really funny. Okay, well, that's 20 minutes I won't get back. <laughs> <laughs> no, I'm kidding. We're just it, – it, this is another one of the three partners that seems way obnoxiously spread, spread thin. Um, some stuff about how the Dear John letter was handled I liked, and some of it was uh, – just uh just cheesy enough right like rocky four cheesy um so that was fun uh but i i cannot like i think we need to name that episode the one with the star sweater oh yeah i already wrote it down the one with the red star sweater oh good <laughs> great <laughs> like mines um that was insane like i've never seen i've never seen anything quite like that that was insane all right guys <laughs> Here comes the power again. Here we go. Uh, back to action. Let's get to part two of. <laughs> Is that your new catchphrase? You're gonna say, "Here comes the power again" at the beginning of every episode. If I remember it, um, I'm just gonna keep singing it so I don't forget it. But I shouldn't have that problem. It was a two measure loop. All right, everybody, please press play right now. <laughs> So I went and got my box set. Oh, cool. Bom, bom, ba, da, bom, bom. I'm sure this is the same Zeo that you have. Yes, it is. 
there's no bonus so, features on this set, but it comes with these sets all always come with this extra bonus disc. Okay. But I looked at the bonus features and none of it is from Zio. It's uh it's a Bulk and Skull featurette, it's a stunt team featurette, it's a convention featurette, it's the lost episode, which is a pilot we watched. And uh Power Waxing up the floor. Funniest moments thing. So yeah, not really any good special effects on this one. Oh, that sucks. But it's got Dark Honda on the front, who's awesome. Oh yeah, Jason loves Dark Honda. <laughs> That's what he calls him, Dark Honda. <laughs> He's like he needs a license a plate. He's more. a Dark Honda. <laughs> I have a Honda. It's not dark though. It's silver. <laughs> also, this box set. Comes with a sweet episode guide. Oh, for sweet! The, for all five seasons of it, that's in here. Oh, that would actually come in handy while we're trying to look ahead while we're watching these. You know, yeah, you just probably whip this out. Oh, by the way, Cap, we're doing a three-part tonight. Set you watch. You're not going to bed. Oh, this this is where um, Netflix gets them from. It's the same thing. It's all it says for this for the last episode was Tommy receives a dear John letter. That's where they're pulling it from. Interesting. Unless, unless that's a coincidence, I can I can look. Yeah. Um. Yeah. I only know three chords. Go, Zio. Man, I thought this is not where I thought it was going to go. Man, you know if if we had. If we had superpowers, we could really do something about this. I can't look at Tommy's hat. It's the goofiest hat. Does that ever could you make it stupider by putting a star on it? It's just like a so it's like a long stocking that comes off his head. After three comes four. Go Zio. Yep, she's been doing that ever since last episode. Why? Is she supposed to have a black eye? Why is one of her eyes purple? Well, there's there's probably going to be like a really riveting uh, prequel episode at some point. Tell us how that happened. But until then, you're just going to have to wonder. Mondo just went Hank Pym on her. Look at his hat. He looks like Mondo Mouse. <laughs> That's preposterous. Why is it so long? Seriously. It's down to his lower back. Wow, Lucas. Lucas says that happened because Mondo is abusive to his wife. But the problem with that is would she bruise? <laughs> even if he was? <laughs> Meanwhile, it's Sentai footage. <laughs> hey, they're using their weapons. Cool. He's got his tonfas. Oh, he has tonfas. That's awesome. Okay. I thought you were going to like just not be able to think of a name for them because they're just random nothing weapons. I always thought they were random nothing weapons. They are something. They're tonfas. Yeah, you know you know the, the sticks that police have? Those are called tonfas. Whoa, that's, that's cool. cool. See, that would be an attack if he was a character in the game. Yeah, the punches, the cool. rapid punches. Also, the the hatchets are awesome too. Well, the uh, the the pink Zia Ranger is one of my favorite characters in the game. Yeah, she is awesome. She uses the the disc, the the disc and the spin thing with the disc. It's awesome. Yeah, really cool. And we she's great. She's great as as a support character too. They're 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 both cool. We gotta we gotta set a time to play some of that. We need to do it yeah, I'm gonna need you to give me a couple days to get back to it because I haven't played it in quite a while. Yeah, I mean, whenever, just let me know. Okay, so you remember a couple episodes ago when Billy was in peril out in space, and I said that there was like some tension, and that it was uh, there was there was a sense of urgency, and I was actually like interested in what was going on. We've lost that. 
See, Lucas Green in the comments is so concerned about what's going on right now. His his only comment is snow is fluffing. <laughs> That's some pretty fluffy snow. Yeah, that is good snow. Except that they don't look remotely cold. Well, why are six people struggling to pull up one girl? How heavy is she? <clears throat> well, see, the Power Rangers don't have to work out because they have superpowers, but they morph, so their muscles have atrophied. Exactly. That has always been my thing. Characters with super strength, Superman would not have – he would not be ripped. He would not have giant muscles because your muscles need to be worked and torn down in order to rebuild themselves stronger constantly. And his muscles would never be challenged unless like in, in The Incredibles, he's lifting trains all day or something. Yeah, he could just go to the gym and get that. No, there's no way the weight would be enough to, to, to break down the muscle fibers for them to regrow. Man, that's yeah. a really good point. You've ruined comics for me. <laughs> I'm done. I'm I'll done with superheroes. That's, that's it, why I, guys. You are watching the last episode where Captain Logan talks about superheroes of, of anything. And it's the second part of it. Like, I'm not even going to finish this video. Like, I'm done with superpowers. I'm done with superheroes after this. That's it. We'll finish this episode, and then I'm done. <laughs> that's why I always like Spider-Man, because he's super lanky and skinny, but he still has super strength. It's just a power. Yeah, but see, we got to a place with comics where we thought everything had to had to be, uh, you know, as um, like melodramatic and, and and big and large as possible. Yeah. Lucas Green just wrote "Dashing Through the Snow," which also fits "Dashing Through the Snow." Go Zio! <laughs> On a one horse open sleigh, go Zio! <laughs> Laughing all the way. See, it works. It's amazing. I think you need to make a video about it. Yeah, I can. <laughs> Defender wheel. <laughs> Look how defensive it is. That's a very defensive wheel. I love how it rolls, even though it's in the stand. It's Pistol still stopper. Moving. Just make sure that we aimed it in the right direction. Why does he have to be in it? Oh, we pushed the button at the very end. Okay, so let me understand how the Defender wheel works, okay? You you have it in in a, a a base thing, right? You press a button and it fires it out, and then you press more buttons and it like targets the thing, like you're about to shoot missiles at it, but it's still going in the direction it was going, and then it hits the thing. Like I guess maybe it veered and we didn't see it veer. Yeah, we're only but, seeing it from the perspective, so I don't know. Like in in TOS, we just had to use your imagination that the Enterprise was turning any direction but right or left. Well, the heat seeking wheel didn't didn't roll off the tongue, so they went with Defender. <laughs> and it doesn't start seeking heat until it's launched from the launcher. <laughs> but I'm sure it was a great toy. Yeah, I never had it. I had the Warrior wheel though, and he was awesome because he actually folded up into a wheel and then popped out. It's pretty cool. Is he also heat sinking? <laughs> Seeking? All right, let's do it. Let's not waste any more time in this really elongated three-parter. Go right to the Megazord. Go right to it. No, we got to show everyone put their Deonizer crystals in there, which we don't usually do. But we got the time, so. Yeah, we, we got time for this. Okay. You know how you don't need a sequence? When you know that no one would be confused if you didn't use it. <laughs> yeah, what do they do? It's like the crystals in Mighty Morphin. They didn't do anything either. At least they didn't get them initially from thin air. <laughs> I also don't know how those are crystals. They look like batteries. They look like little honey jars. That's all I think of when I see them. Sure, <laughs> that too. <laughs> Just what I was thinking. <laughs> It's really unfortunate that we had to have this three part. Well, maybe we'll we'll kill her here. That'd be good. I was gonna say it's unfortunate that we have like this three part episode where we've got this like really irritating like Southern Bell monster. Yeah, a woohoo! Like. You have to go for the most annoying voice possible with a monster we have to see for longer than 20 minutes. 
we also didn't keep the machine love thing going for very long, right? I mean, I assume that when they defeat her, the spell will be broken and they'll all... We just had a couple of token people that were falling in love with machines. Is this going to be one of those three-parters that actually feels like two two-parters with one of the middle that connects them? Is it going to be one of those? You could definitely edit this down to two parts and it'd be a lot better. <laughs> oh no, that sounds sad. Wow, he just explained it to us. Yeah, while well, whining. <laughs> what? That is weird. That's a weird effect. That was very strange. <laughs> Did you know that your heart was in your brain? Did you know that? <laughs> that's actually kind of an unusual thing to do, though. Where, like, it would affect your brain, and that's why you're falling in love with a thing. Like, I'm actually kind of impressed with that that, we, that, yeah. we, that we don't do the literal heart nonsense where like it comes out of your heart. It's like, no, it'd be, it would be here. Yeah. That's pretty good. The bar is low right now. Um, things that I'm impressed with. Well, the bar was actually high. We got some good episodes, and this one's just kind of... That's true. I just mean the bar for this episode. These are the things that I am praising. <laughs> this is unfortunate, too, because we had some a real chance to do something with... I like okay, that. but that's a pretty cool name for a monster. What was her name? Defoliator. <laughs> She's like, I got this other idea for a monster because this episode is still going. Oh, yeah, that's what it says. Mondo and Machina send the Defoliator to create a greenhouse effect in Angel Grove. I don't know why. They just want to make it hot now. Okay. Interesting that the the uh, synopsis you just read doesn't apply until eight minutes before the episode. <laughs> yeah. Wait, where are they? They're not in Angel Grove, obviously. God, Tommy, if you weren't the most important character in the freaking genius, I don't know. <laughs> <I> mean, <laughs> nobody else would have come up with tie some scarves together. Yeah, I mean, I can, I can invent things uh, in high school that can com completely eradicate all uh, sickness on Earth, but I can't tie some scarves together. That's some real yeah, treat smart. <laughs> You know, it's moments like this where I'm thinking it it's not it's not that we should be asking ourselves why we're still doing this, is that we should be asking ourselves why we didn't do this earlier. <laughs> KNGL playing you the hottest hits on the hottest day of the year. Ugh, crazy taxi. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you no, I'm drinking. <laughs> you ready to make some crazy money? Are you ready? Yeah, 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 yeah. I love Crazy Taxi. <laughs> My wife and I are big offspring fans. And whenever we um uh, we listen to the record that has uh, that 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 song that's in crazy. There's two songs in Crazy Taxi, but the main one. Um, whenever, whenever we listen to that, my wife always pretends like she's playing Crazy Taxi for a minute, like she, like like that song. I saw it, and it's like, yeah, 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 yeah. She'll grab the wheel and start doing this. She's like, yeah, I'm gonna go pick up some customers. <laughs> that's dangerous to listen to that song in the car. Well, she doesn't actually move the wheel around a lot. It's not like when we were kids, we thought that's how we made cars go forward. Yeah, that's how you drive in movies. That's how you drive. You have to. Okay, it's like reading. it's like one of those mine cars where you have to pump it to make it go. Okay, they're they're driving uh, these snow buggy snow things. Mobiles. What do you call these? Snowmobiles. Snow, snowmobiles, right? Snowmobiles, uh, and they are the color of their ranger suits. That's expensive. See, he's well. Is Adam on the black one? I think he is. No, Adam's not there. He was just with Rocky and Tanya. I think that's Billy. Oh, okay, never mind then. Which but Tommy does get the red one. Makes sense because Billy has to wear black and gray all the time now. No, that is Billy. Yeah. Yeah, Billy has a neutral color, like black, you know, unlike... Well, we don't have a black ranger right now, do we? Nope. What, what am I thinking? Adam's green now. I forgot. Hmm. I can't get... <laughs> Look at screen just from... Where is the power again? <laughs> Here so it comes, much, guys. It's coming. So much footage in this 
three-parter about just snow stuff. I'm waiting for like a Jamaican bobsled team to show up and just like, <laughs> We're a Jamaican bobsled team. <laughs> that movie surprisingly holds up. Oh yeah, we've talked about it. It's, it's one of my wife's favorites. It's she, really good. She had me watch it's it. Terrible. It's on Netflix. We should watch it. I don't think it is anymore, but it, but, it, but it was for a while. I was like, it's on Netflix. We should watch it. She's like, there's no way that holds up. We watched it. I sure showed her. I'm still interested to see your uh, your take on Eddie the Eagle. What? It's the remember the movie we talked about. It's um, where the guy, the kid from Kingsman, um, is an Olympic skier, ski jumper. <laughs> you told he's, that. he's trained by uh, uh, Hugh Jackman. Is this a thing you think I really should actually watch? I'm interested to see if you like it. It's another snow sports movie. <laughs> It's like boxing. Like there are movies about boxing I like. It's not because there's boxing in them. <laughs> I, I I I enjoyed it. It's a good performance by Taron Edgerton, if nothing else. I wish we were still doing the stupid uh, "Here Comes the Power Again" song, and uh, not because I like it, <laughs> but because it would be really funny if uh, they, they were driving. We had to listen to that and it gets stuck in your head again. You're like, "Here comes the power again!" Da 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 da. And then they stop and they have that exchange. And then they get back on the uh, on on the on the snowmobiles, and they start driving again. And then immediately, here comes the power again! Da, 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 da. Oh, he didn't even have cat with him. He has the other girl. Yeah. How far it is to the bottom? That's not what you say when you're standing on the cliff. No, no, it's not. <laughs> Going down. She's a much better actor than he is. She really is. <laughs> that hair is the reason you shouldn't be able to get a date, dude. <laughs> it looks like a caveman. <laughs> why did they tell her about that? Yeah, why? That seems really personal. That's really weird. It's like, hey, uh, this guy's having some... Lady Troubles, you want to go ride in a snowmobile with them? We're just very open about things in our friend click. Oh, wow. She was trying to go in. Yeah, wow. She's pretty proactive. She's like, D I like him despite the stupid hair. <laughs> I can change that later. <laughs> that always works out. <laughs> that always works out. After two dates, he'll be running to the barber shop. <laughs> I like how Mondo's just laughing at them. <laughs> your snow, your snow thing is the same color as your ranger suit. <laughs> I'm going to melt all the snow. It's a brilliant, ingenious plan. It's so much better than the turn, make everyone fall in love with machines plan. <laughs> that I immediately rebounded from. <laughs> right away. <laughs> well, yeah, see, that's what the, that's what the, these episodes are about, it rebounds. Mo yeah. Different kinds of rebounds. See? Yeah. In fact, they should be playing basketball in this episode. It's about rebounds. <laughs> no, I'm not going to spell it out for you, okay? I know you don't know anything about anything sports, so you're just like, I don't know what he's talking about. <laughs> like, What's a rebound? What's a rebound? I don't understand. Hey, uh, Cap, does, does Billy look I know we talk about turnovers, but you'd be really confused then. Does Sorry. Billy look good in a turtleneck? <laughs> no, but Cat does. Look, she's wearing a turtleneck again. She looks great. And overalls. Or those coveralls, I guess. I don't have as much to say about the men's fashion except for when it looks really stupid. Like Tommy right now? He looks like a bank robber. <laughs> <laughs> Look, I'm sorry. I'm a heterosexual male that sometimes has uh, that sometimes has opinions about female fashion. Where I'm like, that looks cute. That does not. Hey, I, I hope you continue to share them because I, I enjoy them. <laughs> but I will say, even as a heterosexual man. I can look at Tommy and be like, that looks freaking stupid. You shouldn't wear that because no girl's gonna want to date you with that. That's a weird. <laughs> Here comes the power again. Da, na, na, na. You know, for a really boring, kind of lame three-parter, this is kind of fun to talk over. 
it's it's goofy in the right way. I'm glad we started as late as we did. I don't think this would have been as much fun as of an opener. Um, this Heather chick is a good actress. I know. I'm wondering if she's a, like an actual actress. Me too, because she seems like she could be, and at least like on some Lifetime movies or, or something. Like, or like, <laughs> She's so much better than Power Rangers. She should be a Lifetime. Did you know there's an Erica Durant's Lifetime movie? Is it really? Where she oh. she, she doesn't want to get married. She doesn't like the she doesn't like the idea of being with a man. And uh, someone's like, "Why don't you just marry yourself then?" And she actually tries. She marries herself. That's freaking <laughs> stupid. She marries herself and then like meets the right guy. I immediately afterwards and it's like oh no it's already going through i'm marrying myself this is the kind of dumb ideas that tv was made for so you, like, you want to about, right i don't even think i said her name right but i'm talking about the girl who plays uh, lois lane oh so yeah eric and Rance, yeah okay good you did say it right i know who you're talking about okay yeah i like her i didn't i i, I don't love her in that role but i think it's just choices they made with her like i like like a, like i can recognize the actress as a good actress i think she could have been a good lois lane if they would have i mean obviously that was nothing like what what she is but i liked her too yeah looks good in turtlenecks <laughs> i don't know if she ever wears a turtleneck she has to she's in there for like f six seasons six seasons yeah <laughs> why are you busting my chops over there <laughs> i need something to talk about it's a three father, man. Yeah, man. I'm gonna get up in the morning and I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be like, Sarah, that shirt looks nice on you, but you should put on a turtleneck. Trey, what are you talking about? I'm gonna, I, I'm, I'm gonna make you. I'm gonna see if I can get you to wear a turtleneck for the next week, and then, and then tell DJ like, see, look, I just like turtlenecks. Okay, deal with it. All right, here we go. Is everybody ready? Here comes the power again. Da, 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 da. All right, everybody get ready to press play as soon as I say now. We're watching the final episode of this snow epic. <laughs> episode 17 of Power Rangers Snow Zio. Everybody get ready to press play as soon as I say now. Here we go. Back to action. Everybody please press play right now. Back to snowboarding. Snow school is in session. <laughs> snow school? Should we, uh, what should we call the last one? Down a hill! Go! See! Oh, I'm sorry, what? <laughs> no, please continue. <laughs> I'd love it if you could keep that going. Oh, I was going to try, but I thought you had things to say, so, you know. I was asking, what should we call the last one? The one with the good actors? Fine, time to kill. Go! See! Oh, yeah, that's good. That'll work. I mean, she might be in this one, too. I don't know. No, she is. Well, she was in the last one, too. I don't really know. Like she wasn't she introduced in, or, or was she introduced in that episode? I, I know, I guess she was. I don't know. I forget. I thought she was in the episode before. They're all running together. It should be one episode after all. <laughs> Thomas Angel says the young and the restless rangers. That's pretty good. Yeah, guys in the comments, help us out if you can. We got a lot of episodes to name. Put on a na 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 No, it stops. Shake it out your hair. <laughs> Are you all, do you know what the greenhouse effect is? We need the smart guy to explain it to the children. That's oh, right, Billy. Wow. He's running the back of his mind. is going, I actually don't know what it is. I just was pretending like I did so that Billy was explaining it to me. <laughs> you are all well informed. <laughs> Thanks, Bill, Way to watch the day. news. <laughs> Just, rangers, make sure you take corporate media with a grain of salt. You know why we think King Mondo's involved? Because it's a thing that sounds impossible, and there's bad guy on the moon, so... Okay, they're definitely using their teleportation for personal gain, because they keep coming back and forth from wherever that mountain that they're on. It's the second time they've come back. Well, yeah, but if they're beaming there to talk to Zordon, it doesn't count as they, a personal gain. Well, they had you say every time they beam there to talk to Zordon, they should get back in a bus and drive back to the snow? Well, they're beaming back to the, the mountain again after they come back here. I don't know if I agree with you on that. Like, 
don't know if that counts as personal gain, right? Like that's where, because here's the thing, that's where they're supposed to be because that's where they were. And wouldn't it arouse a lot more suspicion if they kept having to travel like hundreds of miles back and forth? <laughs> yeah, that's true. <laughs> Okay, I don't want any more Balkan Skull stuff right now, okay? Because, see, this is awkward because in some ways it feels like three totally separate episodes. Yeah, because they're doing different things. Yeah, and because we've got like two different monsters. I'm interested to see if this one's tied in at all, like if they go back to the mountain again. <laughs> go back to the mountain again! <laughs> Okay, we've done that joke before. We, we've done I love it when a plan comes together. You guys don't do enough pop culture references to constantly reference that, okay? You don't get A-team and, and only one A-team joke every time, okay? And it was just last season. Reno said it. I think Reno said it. Oh, they're back on the mound. <laughs> So, is that oblivious face or love triangle face? Uh, you be the judge. I'm sure Heather would like you to stay. Yeah, is that her being a good friend, being like like trying like trying to trying to push him, you know, you know, toward toward a toward a date, toward a good thing? Is there, like, he's got uh, two head. wingmen. He's got a wingman on each side trying to get him with this girl, and he still can't do it. Yeah, Tommy sucks at everything. <laughs> Except for all those things he's great at. People in the comments keep making fun. That it's the power again. So. Oh man! So did, did we need uh, that that sound effect in the soundtrack just to like make sure Tommy? Like, like the like the audience knows that Tommy is like falling for her, or is it, or can Tommy hear that? He's like, oh, I'm supposed to be falling for her. <laughs> love triangle face. face. That is love triangle face. Okay. Less, uh, more subtle than uh, than Smallville, though. Okay, what was yeah a little bit, <laughs> which is. A sentence we need to like encapsulate frame somehow. Okay, <laughs> Power Rangers more subtle than Smallville. What was the establishing shot of the command center? It it focused on one corner of it, up to the left. I really expected to see Billy like in another room doing something, but no, nope, we're just in the power chamber like always. He's just like climbing through the vent system, like trying to fix something. <laughs> Up in the right corner. We've got like a pirate shirt on right now. <laughs> Why do you say Lidl? Why do you say Lidl? Why do you say it like that? No idea. Even the subtitles <laughs> felt the need to underline that. Me la llama. <laughs> Man, we're just wasting so much time with these. They've had a different story in every episode. They fall in love with a motorcycle. Do you see? Flowers. <clears throat> Why do you know it's called the defoliator? Why do you know that? Did you notice the Zordon vision, like, or the Zordon POV? Like, that's that's unusual, and it was kind of cool. We did an almost like look at that. We're doing we're doing this almost crane shot, like oh. from where Zordon's head would be. That's cool. Why do we never do that? Wow. Uh, Jason and Frank really looked like he didn't want to be there in that scene. Did you see that? <laughs> just like oh, freaking whatever. I'm a superhero. Why do we freaking care? <laughs> He's probably done it like. 10 times that day. It's like the fifth episode they shot. It's more whatever. It's very appropriate that we're shooting these like seven episodes a day at a time. <laughs> I 
we're really paying homage to the uh, the legacy of the horrible working conditions of Power Rangers. Just want to go home, <laughs> go Zio, really need a comb, go Zio. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta stop this defoliator from defoliating. Knock off all that defoliating. That's wow, cool this shot. is a cool looking monster. It's a cool looking shot too with the sun. Yeah, I like that. Okay, he's not as cool up close. He's got a good silhouette like a though. Spider scorpion thing. Yeah, Ooh. that was fun. Uh like like as soon as we see him grow, he goes pinch pinch. <laughs> Looks like Shelob. We are trying to pretend like there's a lot more for uh, the oh. people in the command center to do. That's cool. In this in the season, just because we have two alphas. Yeah, my helmet's great. It makes the whole thing spin around. Well, it has cannon power. Oh, it has that too. Yeah. Wow. This Tommy is the worst. Water. Tommy doesn't do anything but just fight. Is that what brings the sword, though? I don't know. It's just called Warrior Helmet. It's just like... what? Also, why does he need to call for it? Because that, isn't that the default one? Yeah, that's the normal one. That's the one that was on the toy that I had. Once again, if he doesn't call for it, is anyone confused? No, because usually he doesn't call for it. They're just looking at his dead carcass. Um, okay. Not, that's why you always do a double tap. Yeah, that's why you step on him. Because <laughs> you know what never happens after a fight where you've defeated the monster? It that explode? it always explodes. Yeah. Why would they look at it and just remember it's dead? Okay, if it blows up when it's small, it might be dead. If it, or, or, or it, it will, well, yeah, it might be if we decide not to do a Megazord fight, but it will probably get big. It blows up and then we make the remnants that are left, I guess, big. If it blows up when it's big, you're done. If it doesn't blow up and it's lying on the ground, you should probably kick it a couple of times and see if it's alive. This could be the second part of the first episode. We don't even need to go skiing. Like, he should just be getting angry and, like, really focusing on his martial arts and stuff. I think the point of that is supposed to be developing a relationship with Heather. That's why yeah. that's there. But why did we co cogflate these two things? Why didn't we keep them separate ideas? He could have met a Heather here, and then we could do the skiing episode later. That, that's true. They totally could have done that. Yeah. It's like a uh, sidebar. If I could, I would cogfistate that second episode, but I can't. <laughs> I can't take it away. Okay, so... Oh, she's coming back. Oh no, it's not her. I know this. Right. Mm hmm. Because it's a love triangle. M remember? You know, it would have been really cool not showing us that Kat is setting this up. <laughs> yeah. It would have been nice if he showed up and it was her instead of Heather. But no. Let's not have any mystery in our show that kept pretending like it was a mystery. Here's another great song. <laughs> Cause it's their rules. I'm putting out roles for my lifetime movies. Soon to be boyfriend. <laughs> I'm lighting the candles. This is really bad. You know what would make this better? If she's at the table at a really, really long table where he had to yell and she still couldn't hear him, and he's like, "Can you pass the salt?" <laughs> You know, come to think of it, I don't think I've ever been at this part of Ernie's restaurant before. I thought you were going to be Heather. <laughs> wow, if he doesn't get the if he if he doesn't get this hint, he's the most dense person in the world. He's like, you look you look amazing, and she's like, 
you've got. Oh, she I forgot about this. Invite Heather. She's yeah. the best friend ever. I, I, yeah, she's the best. I forgot about this. Man, I should remember them. I remember when this on, was on being really surprised by that. Okay, forget what I said a minute ago. No, that was, of course, totally the way to go. Because we're like, oh, of course, she she said it. And, yep. We, we, wow. We just got hook, line, and sinker. Oh, the power we we sure it. did. <laughs> uh, in our defense, it's one in the morning. It's two for me. So, wow. I'm, I'm hanging in here. Um, I feel dumb about that. What do I have to, to back on, to, to fall back on? Um, here comes Cog the pun. power game. Pun. Uh, pun. What's that? I said, think of a cog pun real quick. Redeem yourself. <laughs> oh no, you put me on the spot. <laughs> it's really hard when you're, when you're put on the spot. Man. Uh oh. Well, I got love triangle face. Can't you tell? No, she, I mean, she's extremely sympathetic. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's, a, that's a really cool thing to do. Now, you could argue, well, see, they had to do that because this is the closest thing you're going to get to interpersonal conflict with, with the Rangers. <coughs> it's like, they're not even going to have a conversation about it. Oh, they, but, did the, they did the other version again where they cross. Yeah, they can do anything they want to, man. They could they could just they, they could just do like the Superman arms. They can just be like, it's Marvin time. <laughs> do the turbo one. <laughs> yeah, they can do that. You know. <laughs> that was great. Did you hear him? Oh, you're scaring me. <laughs> Did you see that part where I was laying down and not exploded? You shouldn't be surprised. <laughs> <laughs> I can't. I cannot believe we got hoodwinked by freaking Power Rangers. <laughs> it's two in the morning. I've been up since five. This is too long, but some of what's in it is good. Yeah, it's got some decent stuff. And even some of the relationship story stuff is okay for this show. <laughs> Thomas Edgell, just pointing out the obvious, it's a scorpion. <laughs> yep, that is a scorpion. <laughs> With a really weird one-eye thing going on. And once again, we talked about this a little bit in Mighty Morphin, where you so rarely would get Peter Parker like, stuff, yeah. Yeah, regular uh you know, you know, like real life issues you'd have if you were a superhero. Um, you know, trying to juggle your responsibilities and and she, this she could be like not looking like a jerk face. She, I mean, she has a legitimate reason to be angry. She like traveled to this spot to for yeah. This yeah, she came all the way here. <laughs> and I always feel like even even if you can't explain what exactly is going on, you could say more than people often do in this situation. And this isn't just a Power Rangers thing. This is a like superhero screen thing often, you know, where you're just yeah. like, look, it's an emergency. I would always say life or death. Um, it's life or death thing. I can't talk about it. It sucks, but I can't. And then, of course, you have, like, the secret issue later. But at least in the moment, it'd be like, okay, at least I know that he's not just bailing on me because he has something better to do. You know what I mean? Like, you might still not work it out ultimately, but at least there'd be a modicum of respect where you're saying as much as you can say. Yeah. And I think a lot, often uh, superheroes out of costume do not say as much as they can say just to uh, – Force the drama more. Just trying to make it look more more dramatic. <laughs> now back to my defoliating mission. Remember, I'm the defoliator. I defoliate. I'm gonna defoliate some more. That's what I do. That's why I, I'm the defoliator. <laughs> why? Why is the scorpion monster the one who like destroys plants? I don't know if you know this, but the the scorpion is the plant's sworn natural enemy. <laughs> <laughs> you ever heard the the uh the fable about the plant and the scorpion? <laughs> the plant and the scorpion and the defoliating. <laughs> Are you gonna be able to sleep? You keep drinking all that search. <laughs> I need it right now. 
I need them. <laughs> Are you kidding? I'm gonna I'm gonna keep doing more Power Ranger commentaries after you go to bed, man. You don't even know. I'm gonna do all those shows we're not doing. Oh, good. You can take care of Turbo for me. <laughs> Never mind. <laughs> I haven't heard this song in a while. Um, I think it is kind of a mistake to have this big three parter where we introduce this new love interest for Tommy, and she's and she's played by a really decent actress, and she's kind of just there to establish that Cat has a thing for Tommy. Yeah. She's just used too much as a plot device, I think. Like, well, it's okay if Tommy doesn't, if she likes Tommy and Tommy doesn't like her. But then you got Cat, who also, and he doesn't even notice that. It makes him seem kind of, kind of a jerk. That's true too. I'm just saying. I think we're throwing her under the bus. Character. I mean Heather, where it's like, oh, she's just here as a plot device. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> <laughs> they didn't plan anything. They just went and bought it. <laughs> <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> Actually, cut that in a good place when he was. Yeah, like, that was pretty good. <laughs> yeah, that was funny. Tommy, I think next time, maybe maybe lose the bow tie. Um, oh, he looks ridiculous. He looks ridiculous. <laughs> he looks like he should be doing kids' birthday parties. <laughs> yeah, remember remember when we started this when he was kind of supposed to be like the badass type character, and he yeah. just he kind of well, like where did he become the dork? Yeah, he is he is really dorky. Like he just he overblows everything. He's got a red pocket square too. Yeah. And of course, she doesn't look ridiculous. She looks like a normal person on a date. Like, <laughs> Yeah, like no one wears a tux to a, a date at the at the Ernie's Juice Bar. No, no, they don't. And they could have, like, really overblown her. She could be in Smallville right now. Like, this is not, this, that's not crazy, you know, attire. Yeah, the pink dress. Yeah, it's got to be pink because she's Pink Ranger. You got you to have that. Wait, Ernie's there? That's kind of weird. Well, it's his plays, and he like opened it for I them. I they're young. I'm, they're supposed to be like sixteen, which I don't. I keep forgetting. Yeah, but like, so you gotta have a chaperone. Yeah, and also, uh, I think he he made he made the food for the date earlier. Wow, actually, a kind of subtle way to end that episode. Yeah, pretty good, pretty good ending. Lucas says, oh, please, the dance creates love. I don't agree with that. Like, like they're clearly both, um, you know, getting interested in each know. other. I mean, like, you can complain that he was oblivious and didn't see how interested she was in him. But even if he wasn't, like, super into her before that, the whole, I like you, but uh, I'm, I want to... Like, like I want to be a good friend, so I set you up on this date, even though that was really hard for me to do. Like, that would immediately probably, if I'm single, make me consider get, getting into that relationship. You know what I mean? Like, that that's a really good person. Yeah, but it would also immediately make you think she's not interested if she put, set you up with someone else. Yeah, but then I wonder why she is so dressed up. Yes. Well, she was the waitress. She had to look nice. <laughs> that's. I mean, that, that's that is not what that doesn't look like a waitress. That looks like a person that wants to go on a date with you. Like, yeah, we did not name those last two. We're getting behind. Oh man, we got to get that figured out. I thought we we named the second one. Well, I just jokingly said the one with the good actor, <laughs> but. <laughs> that one too. Oh, that's true. She was always she was also the in, in that one as well. Yeah, the one where the good actor leaves. For which she almost <laughs> falls off a mountain. <laughs> um, the one with the dorky bow tie. <laughs> well, anyway, uh, sorry, what, what was that? No, I mean, if we're gonna start naming after his dorky outfits, then we'll we have the the next 
15 episodes already set. The it one with is. the dorky hat that he had. Noticing when I'm trying to name episodes is that uh, it, it's so formulaic and so many things to count that everything I bring up, you're like, nope, can't do that. It's in other episodes. <laughs> well, I mean, we don't have to think of a hilarious joke for all of them. Some of Friends episodes were just the one where this happens. No, dude, I'm not trying to come up with a joke for all of them either. Some of them, I'm just like, there's a thing that happens. You're like, nope, it happens too many other places. Can't use it. <laughs> That's true. Everybody, thanks a bunch for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Uh, DJ is falling asleep as we're as we're talking. I don't, I mean, you guys are noticing that, but he's yep, he's done. That's it. All right. Well, um, I'm I'm gonna, I'm gonna close this out on my own then. Thanks a lot for watching, folks. Sure, appreciate it. We will see you again next time. If you are watching live, uh, we will be returning again next Wednesday night at 9.30 after the Captain Logan show. So uh, come on back, won't you? And we're going to be watching uh, the one with Tommy's brother, played by Tommy's by Jason David Frank's actual brother. Awesome. And uh, then we're watching uh, who who uh, who since passed away, and I forget what he died of, but he's, he's no longer with us. Um, and then, uh, if memory serves, um, and then... Uh, challenges is the next one. Uh, or no, maybe challenges is the one is the one with the brother. They're both Tommy centered, and I don't know how related they are. Um, but anyway, so we will take a look at that next time. And in the meantime, thanks a lot for watching, and we'll see you again soon. I am Captain Logan. That was DJ, and that's the DJ is already asleep, so he, I, I, I shouldn't even be asking DJ to say anything. Uh, here comes the power again. See you later, folks. Bye. See ya. Thank <laughs> you.